Good day to you as you're watching this um, uh, recording. I want to take this opportunity to uh, just tell you how excellent uh, an opportunity this is as we walk together uh, through this um, 90 days of strategic uh, prayer. Um, it's a time that we set aside as a church that we're going to walk together. It's for those who have uh, or value or rate their prior life at 10, and for those who rate their prior life at 1. Wherever you fall within that uh, spectrum, this week definitely we need to strengthen, uh, enhance, uh, or improve significantly your spiritual life. And so I want to thank you for uh, really taking the opportunity to walk alongside with me in this great, great, great uh, time of prayer. If ever time we need uh, to pray, it's now. And so over the next uh, several days, uh, weeks, and uh, actually over three months, um, we're going to meet here on Wednesday nights uh, between 7.30 uh, and 9.30. Um, we're going to be concentrating on uh, developing uh, one, our own personal, individual prayer life, uh, devotional life. Uh, we're going to uh, encourage and enhance our prayer life. Uh, one writer says, if you seek the face of God, then you'll get his hands. If you seek his hands, then you might just miss his face. Uh, and so we want to get into that posture of how do we seek and, and embrace uh, the very presence of God. Not, not just come to Him with a checklist of things that we want to check off, but really how do we come and recognize the awesomeness of this wonderful God that we serve uh, and, and in His presence recognize that through this communication we align ourselves with Him and in align ourselves with Him we then therefore get to experience what His perfect will for our lives are. Uh, in Jeremiah, uh, we are introduced to a God that says, look, I knew you before you were conceived in your mother's womb. And later on down in the, in, in the book, it says, I have a plan for you. So uh, what we want to do is not so much to say, God, give me, give me, give me, but God, help me to walk according to your plan. Just like Jesus did when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus uh, faced with the trials and the temptation and difficulty of saying, hey, do I pursue this? It's hard. It's a, I see what's ahead. But nevertheless, it's not my will. In prayer, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he realigned his desire. He realigned his, uh, that, the, the humanity of him that says, this is hard. In prayer, he realigned it with the will of God that ultimately says, not my will, but that will be done. So, as I said, every Wednesday night, we're going to be here for the next uh, um, three months. Um, gonna, there'll be selected readings. There'll be times of prayer. We're going to pray the scripture. We're going to walk through uh, strategically how to develop our prayer life. And uh, secondly, I want you to take an opportunity to meet God in the morning. I call it yarning for the morning. Uh, that, that time before the break of day uh, or, you know, when you get before the face of God. Uh, some people can spend 20 minutes, 30 minutes, uh, hour, two hours, whatever time you can spend in that early part of the morning. So uh, I'm going to ask you to get uh, with you. Uh, you're going to have your Bible or and uh, a notebook. Some of you, uh, like myself, um, we uh, use uh, digital medias to record. And so in that devotional time, we're going to go into the Word. Not going to rush it. We're going to go uh, very slowly as we try to discern, as God will allow the words to the Holy Spirit to come into our heart. What is God trying to say to me? We're going to document it. And take your pen. We're going to write through. What is God saying to me? And, and uh, you know, highlight your Bibles and write through it and, or write the verse in the book. And then we're going to come back and reflect on that. We're going to be re reading three books uh, during this time. We're going to also be reflecting on those uh, uh, challenges that come through this, uh, this time of prayer. So I'm looking forward to uh, spending this time with each one of you as we seek to improve our spiritual life through prayer uh, to the Word. Acts 6, the disciples says, um, and the apostles at that time says, look, um, we're going to commit to, uh, to two, two main priorities. One is we're going to commit to praying and we're going to commit to teaching the word. Uh, and so I want us to be committed uh, or to recommit ourselves to 
praying and to reading the word so that we can realign ourselves to the will of God. Thank you.